Hello, my name is Tom Morgan and this is my first look, kind of turn on, installation and setup of the uh, Ubiquiti Unify Switch 16 150W. So this is a 16-port uh, power over Ethernet Unify managed switch. Um, I've done another video uh, around the unboxing and what you get in the box and, and what's included. Uh, what I wanted to do with this one is just show you uh, what it's like to plug this device into an existing uh, Unify network, how it shows up, um, how you um, how you get how you get running with it, and what it looks like really just from first turn on. So, uh, just a level set. I've taken it out of the box. Um, I haven't plugged it into anything yet. It's had no power through it at all yet, um, and that's that's kind of where we are right now. Now, if I just show you for a minute what my uh, my existing Unify dashboard looks like. Uh, you can see that there's a security gateway, there's an existing switch there, and there's some APs. Um, if I dig into the switch for a second, um, now you notice that this port here, port number two, um, is uh, disconnected. So it's, it's greyed out, it's disconnected. And the reason for that um, is that port number two is this cable here. So what I'm going to do is join this switch to my network via this port, uh, via this cable, and I'm just going to plug it into port one right here. So the idea, so this switch is now on my network, if you like. Um, there's no power in it, but at the moment it's uh, it's physically connected to the other switch, and from there out to the internet and to all the other devices. So the only other thing I'm going to do now is just looking at the back. So there's no big on off switch here, apart from what's on the front. Um, there's no master switch on the back. Um, all that there is, is uh, the kettle connection there. So I'm gonna take the, a kettle lead I already have that's plugged in. I'm just gonna plug it firmly in the back and pop the thing down. Now, immediately, uh, I don't know if you can hear this, but immediately the fans have started up. Okay, so it sounds like there's fans either on both sides. Um, it's it's not loud, um, It's but you'd hear it. You'd hear it in a room. I don't think you could put this in a, like a room that one would live in, uh, if that makes sense. I think it would be noticeable. I'd say it's akin to um, like an Xbox or a PlayStation 3 when they spin up, um, was PlayStation 4 maybe when they split, spin up, that kind of thing. So at the moment, um, the fans are spinning and the light at the front is flashing. Now, I haven't touched anything yet. It's just started flashing white. And that means that it's initializing. Okay. Um, and it means it's kind of doing its thing. It's getting set up. It's getting ready to go. So we'll just give it a second to do that. So I'll move some bits and pieces out of the way. Now, the other thing to notice is... Um, there's two things to notice actually. The first is that the fans have just stopped spinning. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, the fans have now powered down. Um, so presumably they're not on all the time. They just come on if there's enough load. And the other thing you'll notice is that the green light has now lit up here on the port that was plugged in. So at this point, this is probably, I, this is, you know, this is functioning like an unmanaged switch, if you like. You could plug other devices into it and they would work. Um, you could use it to extend out your network, but it's um, but it's not it's not sort of fully running as a managed switch. the The light has now stopped flashing, so the flashing means it's busy initialising. The solid white means that it's ready to be integrated. So it'll stay in this state now until we adopt it onto our into our Unify network. So um, at this point, if we go back to the dashboard, go back to the Unify dashboard. Um, and if I just click refresh, now immediately you'll notice there's a new device down here. So we've got the model, the Unify Switch 16 PoE 50, 150W. <coughs> it's got no name apart from the MAC address. It's been given an IP address uh, because I run DHCP on this network. And you'll notice that the status here is pending adoption. So pending adoption is that's where, where devices go when you first plug them into your network. So it's up to you as the administrator to say, you know, yes, I was expecting this device to show up. Um, I, it is part of the network. It is something I want on the network. And therefore, I'm just going to go ahead and click Adopt. Okay, so the status here changes to Adopting. And then over on the device, 
this light has now gone blue. So solid blue means that it's um, been successfully integrated into the network and it is working properly. The status here is showing as provisioning still. I'm just going to click refresh. The other interesting thing to note, so provisioning may take a couple of minutes. The other interesting thing to note over here on my other switch, uh, the one from up here, this port has now lit up green. So I'm going to do a couple of other things um, here just to make it easier to see what's going on. Uh, oh, it's just jumped about because it just refreshed, so it's now uh, it's now connected. Um, I'm just going to give it a name just so it's more obvious what's going on. So I'm just going to say uh, I'm just going to call this new switch, just so you can kind of see how that looks. Now obviously, it shows here as you'd expect. But if I go back to my first switch, the garage switch here, I can see here port 2 that was previously disconnected is now obviously showing green, it's showing connected, but it tells you the downlink. Yeah, so you can hear, see here, if you hover over this, it says downlink is new switch. So it literally tells you, uh, and this is one of, the, one of the benefits of the Unify system, it literally tells you how everything is tied together. So you can go from that switch and say, well, what's in port two? And you can say, well, the downlink is that other switch. And if I look at this other switch down here, new switch connected, port one is the only one that's connected. And it's, um, yeah, so it's an uplink, which is the little, um, the arrow like that. The white arrow means that it's an uplink and it's an uplink to the garage switch. So there's tons and tons of useful information you get out of that straight out of the box. Um, and if I go and click on new switch now, this configuration window on the right, um, I can see lots of information. I can see it's running at 27 degrees. I can see that the fans are currently off. Um, I get the uptime. I'm not expecting anyone to be connected to it because there's just, like I say, just the one switch. But I can go to ports. I can have a look at all these ports. Um, I get some options around. Uh, I can name this. So I could name this port the uplink port if I wanted to. Um, just to make it really obvious. And then I get some general configuration things. So I can turn the LEDs off um, if I don't want them on all the time. Uh, and then um, I have various other um, kind of network connections. I can see what LAN it's on. Um, I can then start to do some of the stuff you'd expect to do with the managed switch around, you know, jumbo frames and flow control. Um, and I can give it its own IP address if I really wanted to. And then I can also, from here, I can um, deal with um, upgrades for firmware. Um, I can forget it, which removes it from the network. It puts it back into adoption, adopting state. Um, and then any upgrades to the firmware are managed from here as well. So they just kind of show up um, alongside the other. So this is now fully integrated into the network. It's fully managed, um, and I can now plug devices into that and they will work exactly normally. So uh, I think you'll agree, relatively easy to, um, to set up and integrate into your network. Um, it really is a case of plugging it in, waiting for it to set up. And then once it's set up itself up completely, um, then going into the dashboard, finding it, um, adopting it, um, and then it's ready to go. The only other thing I will show you, just because it's kind of use, it's kind of fun, um, from, the, from the new switch here, I can click the locate button. And this is useful in a large network if you've not been naming them correctly or you you think that the naming is wrong um, and you just want to work out which switch is which. I can click the locate button and when I do that on the device itself, you'll notice uh, the light is now flashing. Yep, so that's a, a good way to um, be able to just immediately kind of find devices in a large cabinet or in a disparate network. So that's my uh, kind of um, so first turn on and setup and adoption of the Ubiquiti Unify Switch 16150W.